Good morning, Gemini. Um, right, what do I have for you today? Uh, the mood is very sentimental. Um, it's very soft. I keep getting this lamb through in a, in a lot of my readings, in a lot of my cards, sort of on screen and off screen. And I think it might be you. Um, so very, either you or you're dealing with someone who's in this energy. It's like very de gentle, very sentimental. I've kind of still got my little baby pink nails. I've got my little heart bracelet on. So the, the things that I feel like like call to wear I feel like it's sort of reflective of the energy of the reading like my little white jumper on it's very lammy very white um and then like I've got this little butterfly because um the butterfly is the animal I associate with you Gemini it's a, an animal about change but you can see this particular one I don't know where it came from I don't know who owned it before me but she's lost quite a few of her gems there in the middle there's also these like white pearls which are, are significant of like <sighs> It's almost like innocence and, and potential because pearls can grow. Um, but it's like damaged innocence. It's, yeah, damaged innocence is the way that I'm hearing it kind of thing. Um, so I sort of knew already, I sort of sensed that I was maybe coming into some kind of lovey-dovey situation, possibly some kind of sentimental situation. I mean, we'll see what the cards say. They might say something completely different. But um, the channel song that came through last night, um, and I suspected it was for you, not Sagittarius, because I'm doing Sagittarius' reading straight after. I mean, we don't know, we'll see. But I got, um, don't leave me this way. Um, and um, have I not wrote down who sang it? Lucky Music? I don't know. Don't leave me this way. Um, and it's such a wedding song. It's like an old fashioned, like, like in the sort of just whenever you whenever you go to a wedding round here, um, and they sort of start playing the oldies. Like, don't leave me this way is always one of the old wedding songs that that get people up on the dance floor. Um, so it's really funny because I feel like I've not heard that for years again, and it's probably was at a wedding when I last heard it so maybe wedding could be significant doesn't mean you're necessarily getting married or someone's proposing but maybe you're thinking about marriage or um there's something to do with like a marriage that happened in the past maybe something happened at a wedding um but then I've got um No One by Alicia Keys it's one of your randomized songs from Spotify uh so what lyrics popped out to me people keep talking they can say what they like some people search the world uh, to find something like what we have uh, people will try to divide something so real uh, the next one that you got through from spotify was beautiful people beautiful problems by lana del rey and stevie nicks um the first word um of that song is the word blue so blue may be significant maybe the color blue um, perhaps you might see somebody wearing blue and that might be a significant person for you. Um, yeah, uh, blue kind of popped out. And then, uh, more than just a video game, we've got to try, we've got, we've got to walk through fire. Um, and from that song, the kind of tone of it gave me Cowboy Blues by, I think it, that's Kesha. Um, yeah, so this, this almost like a longing for a past relationship, longing for a connection that perhaps you had in the past, uh, thinking, sorry, I'm just putting a bit of hand cream on, I've got really dry hands this week, I've been doing a lot of cleaning, um, there's, um, yeah, a longing for perhaps for somebody from the past, a past relationship, a past connection, somebody that you miss, somebody that you thought maybe I should have took a chance on that person, but you didn't, maybe problems got in the way, you know, like tangible real life issues that kind of got between you and that person uh i'm not sure we'll see but um i'm going to tune into the energies and we're going to pull some cards for you it's 404 on the clock guys <laughs> fours are about foundation stability where you want to kind of like lay down uh your foundations and, and kind of stick around so we'll see we'll see what comes out Hey, as I was tuning in, I was getting a sense of urgency and breathlessness. It's like um, uh, only having a few moments to spare or only having a few moments to kind of say something that you need to say. There's a, this kind of like rushed, breathless energy. Um, and I would just want to mention as well, I forgot to sort of say it. Uh, my camera, as I was setting up, was kind of like tr struggling to focus. It was kind of like coming in and out, like, like, a, like a wobbly... Uh, focus uh, so there may be this in and out energy you have with somebody um but just to kind of say if the camera goes a bit funny during this reading i'm sorry i will try and keep an eye on it and sort it out if it happens uh, but that's just a bit of a heads up that i know it's having issues and i don't really know what to do about it um 
I'm going to say this, an energy and interfering with my camera. <laughs> Just, I don't know if it is, but that's what I'm going to say. Um, right, okay. Uh, interesting, the deer is on the underlying as well. And again, that kind of very innocent, vulnerable uh, emotion that I'm kind of getting through already for your reading, Gemini. Right, okay. Oh, look, it's flipped as well. So we're taking the deer and the cheetah. Um okay uh is that everything that wants to come through anything else wants to come through for gemini no uh the otter and the underlying yeah so somebody could definitely be looking for um, a romantic partner here uh the otters mate for life they kind of they couple up um so yeah the otter always is signifies somebody who's really kind of like looking out for a partner um the deer this yeah vulnerable uh you can see the cheetahs also racing towards the deer so there may be a slightly unequal relationship here where perhaps somebody is a lot more experienced could be somebody who's literally cheating I'm sorry to say it but you know it's what's coming through uh, very very passionate very fiery again I was picking up on that in and out energy so just be careful if you're the deer um you know don't allow people to take advantage of you uh you may have to kind of like plant your heels in the ground um and be quite firm with somebody uh this person possibly is a fire sign that you're dealing with um or may have a lot of fire aspects in the chart um it's very very passionate a uh, very fast uh, fast action um uh, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship it could be somebody coming towards you very very quickly uh really really rushing in passionately i was sort of saying about that breathless feeling of like um i've only got a minute to spare i've only got a minute to tell you this i do feel like they're coming in to tell you something as well because if you look at the size of the the deer's ears especially this one here it's like really does look like this person's really listening uh so yeah you could be you couldn't you could be listening to something someone's saying they could be saying it quite quickly it's like i don't want anyone else to overhear this this slightly frightened slightly timid energy coming from this deer it could be the opposite way around you could be the cheetah rushing in to tell somebody who's quite vulnerable um a piece of information or something that they need to know um just take that if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. It may be something that's coming in for you, something you're not aware of yet. Uh, right, let's keep going. Right, let's see. Uh, so can you tell me more about um, what's happening around Gemini at the moment? What does Gemini need to know? What's going on? Uh, privileged lady on the underlying there. Uh, so there may be somebody who's in quite a privileged position. Um... Mm, yeah somebody this is somebody who's in a more fortunate position than you possibly um courtship which way around please which way around yeah uh there may be this may be the news that somebody's bringing into you there may be um a kind of romance that's coming to an end uh possibly see it's funny because i was picking up on this privileged lady it's somebody who is I was picking up on third party and I don't know why, I don't know where I got that from. Probably the cheetah, right? The cheetah. Um, so there could be somebody who's already got a partner and that partner is in the privileged position because they are the official relationship, perhaps. But there could be someone rushing into you. This could be like a, um, it doesn't necessarily mean anyone's cheating, but the, the way it's coming through is almost like this could be a relationship from the past, a missed opportunity. Perhaps you felt like you should have always got together with this person, but then they got in a relationship with someone else. Uh, you couldn't do anything, um, but you always felt that connection there. So this is like the, the, the other person, the other partner. Um, and then I think somebody's coming in to tell you, it may not be that person, it may be somebody else, like hearing it through the grapevine, uh, that this um, this relationship with this other person, um, this interest that you have with, you know, this person who's already in a relationship, that relationship's coming to an end, possibly. Uh, so this may be something that you're hearing. Um, it's interesting as well that uh, on this card, I kind of noticed it the other day, it was on someone else's reading, and I used it in the thumbnail, and as I was sort of, uh, processing the image I thought well she's not even looking at him though she's looking at us so it's like somebody's in a relationship but they're looking outside of their relationship uh yeah it looks like <laughs> this little cupid's almost like oops <laughs> oops he's fired an arrow at her she's looking at us now and this cupid's like oops maybe that was not where I meant to aim that <laughs> maybe I've caused some issues here uh fours are about stability foundations um yeah where you the place that you want to call home the people you want to kind of spend your time with 
Um, right, this is getting juicy already, Gemini. Uh, what do we have here? Can you tell me more about the courtship, please? Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, the stars card almost popped out there. That's kind of like fate. And there's something hidden. There's a secret here. So let's see what that is. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Interesting. Uh, oh, change, changing fortune. Somebody taking a, taking a, taking a gamble, taking a risk. Uh, good fortune coming in. Um, luck is on your side. 39. 39 seems to be a very common number uh, for me that I see quite regularly, so you may want to watch out for the number 39. Uh, I seem to get threes, so things like 39, 69, Ayo, and 93 I seem to see a lot. So uh, they may be significant numbers for you as well. Uh, yeah, interesting. You've got a three on this privileged lady card as well. One and two make three. Uh, so yeah, threes. Threes and multiples of threes may be a, a number pattern you want to look out for. Uh, four again, so you've got two fours. Fours again, maybe something you want to look out for. So again, fours are about stability. Threes can be about love triangles or third party situations. Um, uh, also about community, about getting together with friends. Uh, so just can you judge that by the situation as it comes in? Um, uh, sevens are about life path. So um, The King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this is the two people who are in this courtship, the current courtship. So what this is telling me is that um, I don't like this house card. It's meant to be like a warm, loving home, right? But I always think that it looks like there's something wrong with it. It looks like it's not healthy or it looks like... Quite frankly, guys, it looks like a penis. It's the penis house. Um, so yeah, there's something not right about this house is is what i get from this uh, the gates open so people can come and go uh, there may be somebody coming to the house a visitor or there may be somebody leaving the house um the king of cups is somebody who has a lot of emotional depth they're very very loving very caring um they um are warm nurturing um compassionate uh, it's a lovely lovely energy uh, they're both coming through in the upright um so yeah, somebody who really like um, um, lives their life by the heart. Um, the the thing about the kings is that they are um, they hold back. They're very mature. So this is somebody who's emotionally mature. Uh, they have a lot of emotional depth. They may not always show it. They kind of know when to reveal their emotions and when to kind of like not hide their emotions but um, hold back with them. Um, they know like the right time to kind of. Um, express their emotions uh this um snake energy is the queen of i always see it as the queen of pentacles now it's the queen of wands but it's funny that i always see it as the queen of pentacles which is like the wife card for me um so what's going on here Now, I, it, it could come through as two ways. It could be, uh, especially since the woman on this courtship card is the one that's looking out. So it could be that the wife um, in this situation, or it's a long-term partner, right? Somebody who, two people who share a home or share a life together. Um, so it could be that the the woman, the female energy in this situation has has strayed. Uh, she's been tempta temptated, tempted out of the home situation she's uh you can see like she's the snake is facing away from the house so yeah somebody could have been tempted out of the house and that's if i'm reading it as the queen of pentacles which i don't know why i do that on this card um the queen of wands um the queen of pentacles is someone who is about the home they're really about the tangible things of life they uh, they're really good at the practical side of things uh you know um, making sure they have a nice house, making sure they've kind of got all the, the the food that they need, making sure they've got like a nice, tangible, comfortable life. Uh, yeah, they, they're very good at that kind of practical side of things. Um, if it's the Queen of Wands, um, the snake can mean um, sexual uh, virility, um, uh, passion, creativity, um, a fierceness right uh the apples then would signify abundance um something desirable something that you want so it could be that it's all it could be that it's both of these energies or one or the other um 
just be very very careful if you are the one being tempted it's kind of like the adam and eve story right if you are the one being tempted um, in this situation just be aware that there may be a snake energy about this so uh again it could be you could be hearing about um a long-term situation here that's that is having problems or you are being tempted into a a, a a existing situation where um but it does seem like somebody is looking outside of this relationship whoever that might be um yeah privileged lady look be a lady look be a lady tonight i'm gonna write that down right so uh the reason why i'm saying look be a lady oh judgment and the whip underneath there as well Ooh. right okay uh look look be a lady look be a lady tonight uh the thing about that song is that um the way Sinatra or whoever's singing it is it Marlon Brando in the film I think um he is singing um he's talking about look as though it was um, a woman who was dating and he's sort of saying uh be a lady don't go wandering around the room you know uh, blowing on everybody else's dice um <laughs> Hey yo, this with the whip card, I knew it was going to start getting kinky. Um, yeah, it, uh, so it's kind of like, yeah, it's talking about a, a, a woman who's kind of straying uh, from the the courtship. Uh, so definitely picking that strongly in this reading. Um, it's not fair. It's not nice. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to get you full spread. Um, I'll sort of say what the cards are as they come out and uh, we'll go into analysing them uh, once we've got the full spread. Uh, I may just shift these over a little bit like this to, to give me a little bit more room. There we go. Do I do worry about that deer energy, deer in the headlights. Like somebody may be very, very charismatic and you can't like feel like strongly attracted to them, like can't resist. But if they're in a... A committed relationship you know if they're even if their relationship's on the rocks you kind of need to let that close out um you know if you want this relationship to last then i think you need to build it on stable foundations and if the if they're already on rocky foundations with somebody else then maybe that's not the best time you know that maybe that's not divine timing so uh the sun's on the bottom though so that's a good sign that's the most positive card in the deck okay we're gonna go uh past present future heart space head space action space the future energies um, are changeable so whatever comes out here don't worry too much if it's something negative see it as a heads up it's something that you can be aware of and can change your direction change your path and avoid um yeah see it as like a, a warning sign if it's really really good then keep, keep heading in the same direction okay so your past um heart space past emotions please for gemini There we go. Um, uh, five of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Right, emotions in your emotions, that's always a good start. Um, okay, in the thoughts, please. Gemini's previous thoughts. Gemini's past thoughts. Thank you. Are oh, you getting too many cards? I only want one card for each space, please. Um, I can pull clarifiers later. Um, two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. That's making a decision about something you are passionate about. Um, action space, space, please, for Gemini. Action space, please, for Gemini. Thank you. Yeah, moving on to calmer waters. Leaving a choppy situation behind, moving on to calmer waters. Um, current emotions, please, for Gemini. Mm, very guarded. Four of pentacles there. Uh, in your current thoughts, the emperor. Okay, here he comes. Uh, if you, you just know that you can switch the, the genders out um, at any point in the tarot reading. Uh, you you might be in emperor energy, uh, even if you identify as a woman. Um, just just know that it's more about the the meaning of the cards, the way that the person's acting, than the gender. I may say he, he or she, but just switch it around um, or they, you know, as necessary. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll sort of describe the characters and you can decide who's who. Uh, the action space, current action space, please, for Gemini. There's that Three of Cups. Um, I knew the Three of Cups was going to come out here reading at some point. Um, 
future emotions please future emotions for gemini future emotions for gemini uh, it's hiding but you are wanting to take action or communicate something uh, emotionally there's an emotion behind this need to communicate or take action uh, future thoughts please for gemini Oh, the tower moment. The tower card. Right, future action space, please, for Gemini. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Right. It's a nice Knight of Pentacles. I like that one. Uh, in the underlying energy, you've got the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior card, somebody who's persevered through something that's been quite challenging, quite difficult. You may be feeling quite injured, you know, like this butterfly. I was picking up on that, um, you know, damaged innocence energy. Um, so, yeah, you may have persevered through something, feeling a little bit damaged, a little bit... <laughs> definitely very challenged but kind of persevering through it coming to the end of a long journey um right okay i'm gonna spend a moment with your cards um and uh yeah and then i'll go through and kind of interpret them okay so um the strongest energies the major arcana here is the emperor and the tower so you've got um taurus strong taurus energy could be aries capricorn energy um doesn't have to be um and the tower card here as well is scorpionic energy um doesn't have to be those signs it's more about the energy but some people like to hear it um so the most powerful energy the most act the kind of this, the place where everything's going on for you at the moment is is kind of in your thoughts uh, this is kind of a big big thinking um you know really kind of like thinking something through um The character cards you have, uh, you have the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, so these are the kind of the people showing up in your reading. Uh, not quite sure who's who yet, but we'll kind of get into that as we start to go forward. Um, definitely something kind of worried about this tower I'm really looking forward to pulling cards on this to find out what's going on with this tower because uh, that can be difficult uh, but it's in your thoughts it's not something that's in your action space um excuse me sorry um the five of cups so starting with the five of cups uh this is a difficult energy it's an energy of um of missing out on something of feeling like um emotionally you've missed an opportunity something hasn't worked out for you um really kind of I feel like this person's taking some time to kind of heal, to kind of lament the past, whatever that past opportunity was. Uh, now, it's the strange thing about this this particular card. Now, normally on the Five of Cups, you've got three cups that are either damaged or uh, the, the water spill out of them, representing kind of um, the relationships that haven't worked out or the emotions that, that, that didn't go the way you wanted. Um, and normally the person's looking at these and they've got the back turned to two other cups that are quite full. Now, uh, there's actually three other cups here she's got her there's this one behind her that she's not looking at that's offering a lot of uh you know it's almost like magical whatever that cup is offering so there's a relationship that you're not seeing that you've got your back turned to um she's also kind of spilling this one out with a foot but it's going down into this kind of hole and it's also it's kind of almost filling up another cup here um so it's like transmuting um, a relationship that you're kind of transmuting, I feel here. Well, there's this one that's full of love and, um, you know, really good things that's waiting to come in for you. But you, you're not seeing it. In your past emotions, you're just too busy lamenting whatever went wrong. Um, now, this could be, this Queen of Cups, it could be someone you're connecting with. Or it could be um, some, it could be you. Um, the Queen of Cups, really, like that King of Cups I was talking about over here. That's, this is an actual, uh, if this is you um, and you're dealing with a King of Cups, that's kind of a really good loving uh, partnership there. Um, whoever this Queen of Cups is, uh, there's a lot of emotional depth. Uh, really, really feels deep emotions. Uh, the they're a lot more expressive than the kings as well. They're more likely to express these emotions, to kind of be quite open and honest about how they're feeling. Um, and you can see she's almost kind of like 
doing this meditation con contemplative work um, I feel like so what I think you were doing in your past emotions was kind of working through um, your feelings about a situation that felt quite disappointing something you kind of felt like you missed out on in the past um, and transmuting it you can see kind of like she's almost like making this archway out of the water so you 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 do, you're processing, processing these emotions, turning it into something else. In your thoughts, you this is um, needing to make some sort of decision um, with the Two of Pentacles. You can see she's kind of being pulled in two directions by these two uh, circle um, shapes. Uh, it could be that with the imagery of this card, I feel like you've, you've You've got kind of practical matters here weighing you down. The things that you have to do, right? The day-to-day -day chores, the responsibilities, um, the boring uh, kind of 3D reality of our lives, the stuff that you kind of have to take care of, the practical side. And it's kind of like almost like weighing you down, pulling you back. But then this orb uh, to me is representing your ideas, your thoughts, your creativity, your emotions, the, the kind of uh, more passionate side of your personality, the things you want to do, the ideas you have. Um, and this is kind of like almost pulling you away into this kind of um, headspace where you're feeling quite imaginative, um, perhaps have, feeling a little bit like you've got your head in the clouds. So I almost feel like you prefer being in this imaginary place um, and you kind of almost want to drop the baggage of these responsibilities um, yeah you can see there's a lot of air pentacles are about tangible practical things but you can see Gemini you are an air sign and there's a lot of air and movement um, in this card so I feel like this is something you're trying to juggle tr something you're trying to balance out the need to be f feel free creatively intellectually spiritually free um, and the obligations and responsibilities that that ground you back down um, I'm seeing the page of ones as your energy and part of this kind of um, orb that's kind of more to do with emotions and feelings than practical matters because ones are about uh, passion um things that you're passionate about things that you want to kind of take a leap of faith towards um pages are very young energy again like that youthful almost like deer like energy but um this isn't being scared this is feeling enthusiastic and passionate and kind of fired up about uh, the opportunities that life presents to you uh, we've got this kind of orb here as well so this is kind of like showing me that this is your imagination space your your thoughts your emotions your passions um really kind of wanting to go out and explore uh, new opportunities uh find out where your passions are right you've got ideas you want to actually experience the things that you're passionate about um and this is all going on in your headspace. This is you juggling um, these real life commitments with your ideas and potential um, and desires um, in your thoughts. How do I balance this out? Um, again, you can see so much air energy, like the movement of her hair and the coat. She's almost like leaping up into the air. She's thrown that wand up. So yeah, Gemini, you're in air sign. There's this need to kind of like be quite free and to have movement in your life. Uh, really feeling that in your in your emotions and your, your, your headspace. So here we have um, you actually in the past um, moving on from a situation that felt quite choppy um, so I want to pull a card what was what was this is intellectually though so you may not have physically moved on it is showing in your action space so the action that you're taking though is figuring out its source so it's thinking the action you're taking is you're trying to figure out how to move on from a situation that isn't working out for you towards a situation that feels more uh, calm and stable. So what's Gemini leaving behind here, please? That's too much. Can I just get one card, please? Oh, um, that is a new love offer. You're leaving a new love offer behind because you want to be more independent. Again, it doesn't have to be love. It can be emotions. Perhaps it was an over emotional, right? Um, so it looked really good, but perhaps it was too much. Um, so you wanted to be a little bit more practical. Um, perhaps you felt like this was uh, part of that kind of <laughs> almost like fairy tale space. So you left it. You, you didn't 
you left it behind uh, to work on things that were more practical perhaps this was like commitments that you had to work on perhaps you just felt like it wasn't the right time the nine of pentacles um well actually it kind of looks like the seven of pentacles on the imagery here um and the seven of pentacles is a card about planting seeds and watching them grow so a sense of divine timing um the nine of pentacles is being independent though financially independent um what, working on your own projects you've got your own stuff to deal with basically you do, you didn't have time for something that felt like it was up in the clouds they're giving me the word blue again it's interesting there's a blue heart actually um i was seeing the sky it's like the sky the imagination space but then the two of cups is here so this relationship is still trying to come back in it's an equal partnership it's, it's two people seeing eye to eye it's kind of a perfect match um and then you've got this queen of swords uh, the Queen of Swords is um, possibly something, <clears throat> it could be you, it could be, my throat's closing up, so I feel like there's something not being spoken, which is interesting because the Queen of Swords speaks her truth. Uh, so there may be somebody who um, came between you and another person, which may be this Queen of Swords energy. Um, I've seen it as you though, there's a, a butterfly here on this Queen of Swords, So and it's swords are air energy, so... You could have overthought this. You could have um, cut this out of your life for, for whatever reason. Uh, I'm not seeing a reason. It looks really, really good, to be honest. But for some reason, you've intellectualized it um, and been quite cold, quite clear and said, no, I'm, we, we, I'm not having this. So it could be that this person was in a relationship. So even though this relationship looked really good between you and this other person, it's like you've kind of said... I'm going to work on myself, I'm going to do my own thing, um, I'm going to cut communication with you, or I'm going to put a stop to this, I'm going to move on, because even though it looks really good, if you're with somebody, I can't be part of that. Um, so yeah, moving on from that. Ah, Gemini, that's tough, isn't it? But you're, you know, if that's you doing the cutting out, that's you standing very, very strong. So now up here in your current heart space, you are very, very guarded. The Four of Pentacles for me is my shield card. Um, and you're shielding your heart space. You're shielding your emotions. You're protecting your emotional space. Could be because you've learned the lessons here with this past um, emotionally missing out on something. So, yeah, you... you Gemini, you're looking really strong actually here. Um, so yeah, you're emotionally guarded. Um, investing, I think, on, in yourself. Um, yeah. Uh, so why is the Emperor here though in these thoughts? Oh, hello. Um, the Sun in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. I feel like the Emperor is the person that you're connecting with. It could be you. Um, I'll read it both ways. If this is you, if you're the emperor, you are um, kind of really taking control of your own life, um, really being in a very, very powerful energy um, where it's almost like I'm not messing around anymore. I'm not playing games. Um, because there was something with the sun in reverse. This is like either somebody was not loyal um, or somebody... Um, a situation was unclear you you didn't know what was going on um so there was, because there was no clarity you felt like um you needed to kind of take control hello bess hi sweetie you're gonna go on, on the window and look at the burbs um and then the eight of cups is here as well now the eight of cups is a card about feeling uh, like you're not fulfilled emotionally so you need to kind of go on a journey go out and explore um to kind of get some clarity to find that missing cup to fill that emotional void but with it being in the reverse it's like you're not you're not even t considering that anymore it's like no i'm not doing that because i'm not there's no clarity in the situation perhaps you don't know how to do this perhaps you're in this emperor energy but you don't know perhaps you know you need to move there's something not emotionally fulfilling but you don't know how to move there's the, the your thinking isn't clear here um if this is someone you're connecting with, if this is like um, a love interest for you, you definitely have them up on a pedestal. Um, they could be um, quite, they could be more mature than you uh, if you're coming through as that dear like energy, uh, maybe more experienced than you. They've kind of quite good, they quite like to take control of the situation. Um, they, you, you might let them take the lead a lot. Um, 
Emperor in the upright is a very, very good energy. They're basically all four kings. Uh, so yeah, you may definitely have this person up on a pedestal, but there isn't clarity. There isn't loyalty. Um, and I think this is why somebody is not leaving a situation, whether that's them not leaving a situation or you not leaving a situation. But I, I, it looks like it's unclear, but then you have this energy of somebody rushing in to communicate something with you there, which I think is here in your future energies. Uh, so if things are unclear now, don't worry. I think things are going to clear up. The Tower and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Three of Cups in your action space. So you may be spending time with friends, um, kind of almost kind of like protecting yourself. There's things that aren't clear. Um, it, I feel like you're being very, very strong and not entertaining this if this person is in a, an existing relationship. So yeah, instead just kind of spending time with friends, um, having a good time, going out, partying. Uh, this is the Big, big Dipper, right? So pointing north. Um, hmm, okay, can I get a clarifier on the Three of Cups, please, for Gemini? Uh, can you clarify the three of cups for Gemini? And I think I need, no, they're telling me I know I can get everything just from this card. So yeah, um, uh, spending time with friends rather than indulging in this love interest. And um, there is um, possible gossip here, which I was picking up with your song choices, right? Uh, people keep talking, they can say what they like. So you may actually be dealing with people who are gossiping about your situation. Uh, right, let's move on to the future energies because this is where I'm very, very interested. Um, the tower moment in your thoughts. Uh, it's like something's going to happen and it's going to give you a huge amount of clarity. Uh, if things weren't clear before, uh, clarity will come with the tower. But the tower can be quite disruptive. Uh, it can be something that comes in like shocking news, especially with this eight of wands. Eight of wands in their emotions is like rapid communication, rapid action, uh, back and forth, um, like fast. It's, it's very fast, like things happening quickly. And then you've got this tower moment in your thoughts, which is like, oh my God, I can like, everything suddenly makes sense. Um, but the tower is, with it being plutonic Scorpio energy, it can be quite painful. It can sometimes feel like the rug's pulled out from underneath your feet. So, um, but then it's, the action space is very, very slow. So let's find out what's going on. So eight of wands in the emotions, please, for Gemini. Are you getting a lot of reversals? The magician, uh, this is your energy, the magician energy in the reverse. Um, in the upright, this is somebody who takes the dreams and makes them a reality. Um, in the reverse, um, be aware that there could be a, still, even though this communication is coming in, like this person who's rushing in to tell you something or you're rushing to communicate to somebody else, um, with the magician being in the reverse, I feel like this is trickster in, in energy. Somebody with cards up the sleeve, somebody who's um, kind of in illusionment energy. Um, so... Um, be aware that things may still not be quite clear um, emotionally. Um, you may, even though you've got this communication and action happening, there may be things that are still hidden. There may be tricks up somebody's sleeve. So keep that guard up a little bit. You know, you let your guard down, let the communication come in. You know, if you've got someone blocked, you can unblock them to see what they have to say. But there's there is trickster energy with that communication. So what's going on with the tower, please? What's going on with the tower in the thoughts for Gemini? What's going on in, with the tower in the thoughts for Gemini? Oh my God, somebody might be getting married. Well, that's an interesting twist there, isn't it? Uh, could be someone proposing. Uh, it's not coming through with the Ace of Pentacles, though. It's not on the bottom, is it? No, the chariot. Um, could be if it's not that it could be an event a get together a party a celebration um yeah some kind of get together um it's the 11 11 card somebody could be coming in telling you how they really feel something could happen at an event um but get the, with the chariot being in the underlying it's like whatever this is you're gonna have a choice to make and um it's gonna have to be a quick decision and you're gonna have to um Again, it's like fast action movement. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I can't tell you more than that. We'll get your advice card in a minute. Uh, in your action space, you want to take things slowly, which I think is very, very wise because I'm still picking up on that kind of trickster energy. Um, and if you're the deer, I don't want you to get taken advantage of. There's a naivety here. Um, but I think perhaps you're self-aware. You're aware, perhaps, that... 
you are in a slightly vulnerable position with somebody um, and you're not going to be taken for a ride here, <laughs> literally, possibly with that chariot card, um, a chariot card and the seven of wands. It's like, no, I'm not I'm not I'm not being taken for a ride here. I'm standing up for myself. <laughs> I'm not getting in that car. Um, so uh, the Knight of Pentacles, this is one of the slowest moving nights. Now, this is either you or somebody coming towards you. Um, if it's somebody coming towards you, it's somebody who wants to do things right. They want to do things um they want to clear everything up. They kind of want to um, do things in the right order with high honour. They want to do things properly. Um, it's slow moving energy. It's kind of really like laying the foundations, making those foundations solid, planting seeds that can grow over time. Uh, can you give me a clarifier, please, on the Knight of Pentacles? Which I think is really good because this, there's still stuff that's not quite clear. Even with that tower card, you know, you've got this magician card up here. It may not be that the person is deceptive. It's in your heart space. So you could just be worried about this communication. It doesn't mean it necessarily is. But if you're feeling in your heart space, that's your intuition talking. So I think taking it slowly is, is a really good idea. Um, uh, Seven of Swords. Uh, I tried to come out, but it's going back in. Uh, that is deceptive energy. Um Ten of Wands, burdens. Yeah, I think somebody has to put down some burdens to clear things up. If somebody's leaving a previous relationship, um, then they probably have, you know, things to tie up, loose ends to tie up. And you want to make sure that they've properly done that uh, before you kind of entertain them. Uh, it could be you if you're leaving a situation. You know, you, you need to kind of put the baggage down. You don't want to take all that baggage into a new relationship. So take the time to properly put that baggage down before you kind of start something new. Um, yeah, the, some anxiety over this, though, in the underlying. Um Maybe getting a bit tired of waiting. Um, but it's for your own good. You protect, you're protect. you doing well, Gemini. You're protecting your heart space. It's not that this is never going to happen. It's that you are standing up for yourself and you're saying, if this is going to happen, we're going to do it right. We're not going to have we're not going to have an affair. Uh, you need to tie up all your loose ends and come to me uh, properly. Which, Gemini, you know, absolutely bossing it there with the Emperor right in the centre of your reading. Um, perhaps you're communicating this to that other person. Perhaps you're saying, I'm not, I'm not entertaining you unless you leave your partner. Um, you know, unless you are ready to commit to me, I'm not entertaining this. Um, take it as it resonates, switch the energies around if you need to. What's the best advice, please, for Gemini or the people coming to this reading today? What's the best advice? Oh, Milk and Honey, one of my favourite cards. Um, time to go, time to go, time to walk out the door don't turn around now um you're not welcome anymore uh yeah definitely get out of there get out of there fast you know um uh, if you have to if there's chaos and conflict get out of there um you want the milk and honey not the chaos and conflict basically um this is coming through strongly for a relationship situation um i don't know i'm going to show you the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, uh, it has different advice depending on your situation. I'm going to read the relationship messages, uh, but I'm going to show you uh, all the messages so you can pause and read those. If this is a different situation for you, if this is something financial or uh, a friendship group um, or I don't know, you can read it. You, you can read the, the ones and decide which one uh, suits your uh, situation the most. But yeah, I'm going to read the... Uh, the relationship message, because the, the, a relationship is coming through strongly here on the cards today. And I'm at 43 minutes. <laughs> I'm meant to be, um, I'm meant to be doing 20 minute readings. It's just not happening. Um, I, I was trying to like make it easier for myself by doing two 20 minute readings instead of like one hour and 20 minute long reading. And I'm just, just doing like, ah, uh, when will I ever learn? Uh, milk and honey, essential meanings, the taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, right, authenticity, so people have to be authentic, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. Relationship message, sensuality, connection and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you now to savour. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Lovely. So here we go. I'm going to show you um, all those messages. You can kind of read them at your leisure. 
egg so you can read the oracle message the prosperity message the protection message if whatever you kind of feel like you need the most there uh, i don't know if you saw that one clearly so i'll, I'll kind of re-show you that one there you go uh, right, chaos and conflict. Uh, more threes on this card as well. Uh, I was saying about watching for numbers that are multiples of threes. That might be something. That might be kind of um, the spirit side trying to communicate with you, trying to perhaps lead you away from the chaos and conflict. Again, threes are about could be about third party situations, too many people involved in a situation which is causing the chaos and conflict. So watch out for that. Um, I just saw 4455 as well on my timestamp. I don't know if it'll be the same on yours because I've, I've gone into two videos now. But um, Chaos and conflict, uh, essential meanings, disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Relationship message, stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need, incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable, but if that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before, for the storm will have passed, blazing, blazing a path for the new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, and always better than before, if you use this time constructively. Right, okay, what I'm getting from that, um, if you are, if you have found yourself in a third party uh, situation, you know, so you've, you've, you want um, something uh, with someone else, what do you really want from that person? What do you, where do you see your relationship heading? If you want a proper commitment, right, this four of wands with that person, um, but you keep allowing them to come in and tasting that milk and honey, right? If you know that this person's in another relationship, but you're kind of like weak to them and they keep coming in and, I mean, I don't see you doing that. I see you moving on and kind of putting your guard up and doing quite well. But I just kind of want to say for those who are kind of at the start of this story, um, if you keep letting that person come in and out of your life, they keep coming in, taking taking what they want, taking that taste, getting that nourishment from you, and then going back to their partner where 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 they kind of they've laid down the roots and they've got a comfortable situation, they're never going to commit to you because they're getting the best best of both worlds, right? So you do need to put your guard up. You do need to draw a line in the sand where you say this is bad karma. We're generating bad karma for ourselves. Um, I can't continue to do this and it's not for that person's own good either you're actually you're almost enabling that person to do to generate bad karma for you, for themselves if they're doing this so if you really love that person if you really want what's best for them I would step back and say look you've got a decision to make here you can't have it both ways um, you, you need to make a choice if you want to stay with the person that you're with then that's absolutely fine but I'm going to have to put my shield up and walk away um, if you want to be with me, then you have to make a clean break with that other person because that's honoring you and the other person. And it's honoring the connection that you have between you both. Um, you know, if, if there's deception here, you know, people have open relationships. It might be that genuinely this person's in an open relationship and every, every you know, everything's above board. Everybody knows what their deal is. It's not really what I'm picking up on here. Um, and I don't think it's, I don't think it's what you really want from the relationship. So maybe do a little bit of soul searching in that regard. Decide what you really, really want. Uh, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Uh, maybe communicate what you really, really want. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that, Gemini. Difficult situation, right? I get it. I get it. But... Um, yeah, you want to, if it's genuine love, then you want to love in the highest, highest honour, uh, that honours you and that person and your connection. So um, maybe keep that in mind. Right, Gemini, take care. Love you. Good Best of luck with that situation. I hope it works out for you. Um, I'll see you next time.